Hey everybody, Quint here, and welcome back to the workroom for another episode of Walkthrough. And as you can see by all the stuff I have here on the table, we're talking about soldering today. And I'm just going to go over the basics of soldering in lieu of the uh, Genesis uh, Stereo Mod video that I'm filming for the second time. And uh, this is actually the second time I'm filming this video because of the same problem. I had a bunch of video get corrupted, so I tossed that memory card and we are filming on a new one. So shouldn't have that problem this time, but uh, anyhow, before we get started, uh, let's talk about some safety first. And, uh, I mean, some people may think this is common sense, but soldering irons are hot. <laughs> That's what they do, they get hot. And uh, just keep that in mind, this can burn you very easily and very badly. I mean, I can feel the heat coming off of it right now. It's, it's just really hot. I mean, you don't want to start a fire, so, I mean, just be careful that, you know, soldering irons are hot, simply said. Um, the other safety concern is solder. Solder contains lead, and when you melt the solder on the tip, it's going to create some smoke. I highly suggest you don't breathe that in unless you want to slowly give yourself uh, lung cancer. So, yeah, don't breathe that in, and also, after touching this, you're gonna to wanna to wash your hands. Definitely wash your hands after handling solder every single time. Definitely a good idea. So now that we've got health and safety out of the way, let's uh, actually get on to talking about what we need. And really all you need to solder is a soldering iron and some solder. You can solder doing just those two things. But there's some other things that I think you should have if you plan on doing any amount of soldering. I mean. This isn't the only project that you may want to take on. I mean, another one you may consider is replacing batteries, um, like this one we have on the Zelda PCB that definitely needs replaced. It's been pulled apart, so it's uh, it's time to replace that battery. Maybe that's a good uh, idea for a future video, but uh, you know, you guys got to keep that in mind. You're going to start having these batteries go bad on your games, and you're going to have to start replacing them. So. I mean, that's just one of many projects that you may need to solder for. And because of that, you're going to want some other things. Like, um, this is about as basic as you get for this, but this is a solder sucker. Um, basically, uh, you heat up the solder, you squeeze in the bulb, put it to the solder, and suck it up. There's, uh, this is about as basic as it gets. They make some better ones, ones that even have heated tips that work really good, but those are expensive. I mean, this is about as basic as it gets. They're cheap. Find those at Radio Shack along with this, which is desoldering braid. Uh, you touch the solder to the braid, um, and then you touch the soldering iron to the top of the braid, it sucks it up. Um, this is, these are great for taking care of excess solder or things like that. Um, another thing you're definitely gonna want are some helping hands. Um, they hold things while you solder them. I mean, I'll show you why that's so crucial, makes things so much easier, and I mean, for like 12 bucks is what you can get these for. Um, also, something that I think is essential is either some steel wool or a wet sponge. They even make specialized ones just for doing this, but to clean the tip of your soldering iron. So, I've got this soldering iron, it's been heating up, and I'm going to clean off, had some schmutz on it. So I'm gonna use this steel wool to clean that excess solder off. Uh, because that old solder is going to affect how your joint um, is done. When you, I mean, you, you can end up with a bad solder joint because of excess old cruddy solder left on the iron. So you're going to want to keep it clean, and some steel wool or a wet sponge does that extremely well. So that's what I suggest you have. Um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Can use that periodically, but uh, for now, I have already cut up some wire um, for our Genesis Stereo mod, and I'm just going to show you the first thing that we need to do is tin the wire, and I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to get our helping hands here. Just going to move that out of the way. Just need this alligator clip. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is let's get our ground cable we need to strip off some of the insulation. So there's many different uh, methods to strip off the insulation. There's tons of different types of uh, 
wire strippers. I'm just going to use some very basic ones that you can dial the gauge of the wire right here. And this is some 18 gauge. So I'm just going to strip off maybe a quarter inch of, uh, of insulation here. That's more than you're going to need. We're actually going to cut that down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the wire and twist it. that will keep these wires from fraying. So now we're just going to place that in that alligator clip and that's going to hold that while we tin the, uh, tin the wire here. And the reason that we tin this wire is we want to keep this from fraying when we solder it on. It prevents shorts. It's just a better way of doing things. So uh, actually I'm just going to go ahead and move those out of the way. Don't need those. And what you want to try to do is heat what you're soldering, not the solder itself. So you kind of just want to heat the wire up. It may take a second, no, more than a second, to get the wire hot enough to actually melt the solder. I mean, it's not crucial. You're not gonna really, I mean, you can touch the, the solder to the soldering iron. It's not going to ruin anything, but you just want to uh, try to heat what your, you know, your medium that you're soldering to and not the solder itself. Um, so basically we're just getting this wire covered in solder. It's really just that simple. Um, so I'm going to remove this from the alligator clip make sure that it's nice and covered. It is. Um, so we've got nice covers there. That is tinned. That's all we have to do. So just remember, heat up your wire, touch your solder to it, and just get it covered with a, a nice even little coating. Don't You don't want too much excess. If you get too much excess, just keep heating it up and you can draw it off with the uh, soldering iron. But the next thing that we want to do is cut this down because we don't want this much wire to solder to. We just want Maybe, maybe that much. I mean, literally, um, literally maybe like five millimeters of it. And as you can see there, that's about how much wire you're, you're gonna want uh, to solder to the end. So there we go. That's how you solder a uh, tin of wire. Not solder, but basically that's how you tin a wire. Easy enough. All right, so now I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'll show you the next thing that we really need to know, and that's we're going to actually solder a wire to the joint. So I'm going to actually get the, the uh, board from the Sega Genesis that we're doing and uh, show you on uh, this here how we are going to do that. So basically, what you're going to want to do is we've got our three pins here that we need to work on. And uh, the one that we need to solder to for the ground is this one right here. This one on the far left. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start by cleaning my soldering iron. Just clean the tip off real quick. There we go. And I'm just going to heat up this one solder. And I'm going to actually add just a little bit. Now the reason we're adding some is because we're adding this thick wire. So and this is 18 gauge, like I said. You may actually want to use a smaller gauge. I found that this was a little bit too big. Now we just heat up that solder. Get that wire into position. And just let it cool. And there we go. That's all we do. So I just heated up that joint where that pin is stick sticking through. Heated up the solder and then inserted the wire into the melted solder 
and then lifted the iron and just let it cool. And that's all you have to do. It is so simple. Soldering is so easy. People get worried about it, think it's difficult, but it's not. It is very easy to solder. So those are the basics. That's basically all you're going to need to know to do this project. So when we come back uh, on the next episode of Walkthrough to do this, uh, finish up this Genesis Stereo Mod, I am uh, going to go over how we are going to get these uh, RCA jacks onto the actual casing of the Genesis. We're going to solder up the rest of the wires that we need, run the wires, and uh, get it all put back together and show you how everything worked out. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys with the next video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please just uh, comment down below and ask if you've got any suggestions or, or tips for anyone. Um, go ahead and leave them down below as well. So uh, once, the, once again, guys, thanks for tuning in and I will see you uh, with the next episode.